This morning we have a uh, unfortunate update for you on the Riley Strange search. Chief John Drake, Metropolitan Nashville Police Department, will be speaking with you. Chief Drake. Thank you, Don. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, this morning around 7.28 a.m., we received a call uh, from a worker on uh, 61st Avenue uh, at a company that adjoins the uh, Cumberland River that had been searching for uh, anything that would uh, pop up on the river, um, especially looking for Riley Strain, if he would, uh, surface here. As they were removing um, an object from the river, uh, they saw, they noticed uh, what appeared to be Riley Strain um, pop up. Uh, the fire department uh, was called in, um, retrieved the body from the river, uh, the medical examiner's office uh, reviewed the body, and we confirmed uh, that it is uh, Riley Strain. Uh, the family uh, has been contacted. Uh, there, if there are no signs of foul play at this time, according to the examination here at the uh, riverbank. Uh, Mr. Strain still had the shirt on that he was wearing, uh, still had the watch and other identifying factors that helped us identify who he is. I want to say uh, to the family, uh, my heart and prayers go out to you all uh, for this very unfortunate and tragic uh, incident. I also want to say thank you to the Nashville community and the Outpoint community of the Outpoint support from the community uh, in trying to help us locate uh, Mr. Strain. I also want to say thank you to our USAR team and, and to the fire department at OEM and TWRA and everyone else, and including the media, for everything that you've done, for the countless tips that came in. Uh, we received nearly 200 tips as of yesterday that we were vetting out. Uh, so at this time, the family's been notified. Uh, there would be an autopsy uh, more than likely sometime today. And, uh, and we'll have a little bit further uh, from that point. So, thank you. Chief, can you tell us, is there any other additional evidence that, that points you to the theory that it seems like you've been going after for a while now? It's just that he fell into the river you know, accidentally? Yeah, there's no other evidence that suggests anything other than uh, we have reports that uh, normally, uh, under these circumstances, with, with his height and weight, that he could have surfaced between 14 and 20 days. Uh, this is the 14th day, uh, so we were uh, really expecting uh, anytime soon to, uh, to find him. In fact, our search teams are going to put in in the water here uh, this morning and then search from this point further down. Uh, so uh, we were in the right spot. It's just unfortunate. But there's nothing to suggest anything other than any foul play at all. You said that these were crews that were actually looking for him that found him? Yes. That's, uh, so the workers typically on the river, whether it's barge companies, concrete companies, other businesses that actually are on the river, and they uh, they look routinely. It's, it's happened countless times before. And as they moved, I believe, a barge, and don't quote me on that, they removed something from the river, and as they moved it, they noticed uh, Mr. Strain so, and, ca and called it in. Typically work on the water. They weren't necessarily search crews. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you all. Thank you. Thanks. All right, so that was a very brief press conference by uh, Tennessee Metro Metro Nashville police out of Tennessee right there as they provided an update and confirmed that they have in fact found the body of Riley Strain uh, along the uh, Cumberland River in Nashville. The medical examiner saying that there was no sign of foul play and again Riley Strain had been missing since earlier this month as he was visiting Nashville with his fraternity brothers. So again this is the tweet we did want to share with you. Uh, from Nashville police saying that the body of Riley Strain was recovered from the Cumberland River in West Nashville this morning, approximately eight miles from downtown. No foul play-related trauma 
was observed. An autopsy is pending. And you're taking a live look. This is an area along the Cumberland River. Uh, this is where that press conference happened just moments ago. And the police just reiterating very briefly uh, some, some facts that they wanted to share uh, that there was earlier this morning a crew was along the Cumberland River. They were removing an object from the river, and that is when uh, one of the crew members noticed a body. That's when they called the fire department. Uh, the fire department, they retrieved the body from the river, and they did confirm, in fact, that was the body of Riley Strain. Uh, we heard from the police chief saying that Riley Strain was still wearing the shirt the watch and other identifying factors. Uh, but again, they have notified the family. Uh, no signs of foul play. That is according to the medical examiner. And again, we are continuing to follow this breaking story because again, police in Tennessee have been searching for the University of Missouri student uh, for several weeks after he was last seen by friends at a Nashville bar in Nashville and we do want to play some some of that surveillance video for you because again this was some of that video right there of a police officer who was just walking along the river uh, and again that is a photo of Riley Strain right there but again this is some surveillance video that uh, Nashville police had had shared with us in the background that is Riley Strain as he is walking down the sidewalk he stops he kind of stumbles and walks in another direction before turning back around and again this is some surveillance video that and body cam video that police had been sharing with the public as they continued to search for him. Uh, but again, just a short time ago, breaking news, police saying that they did in fact recover the body of 22-year-old Riley Strain from the Cumberland River. Uh, they say that no foul play was observed. An autopsy is pending.